So. Okay, now Adam, uh, let's first of all look back at Tuesday. Is it a, a sign of how far the lads have come that there was disappointment with a one order ride home to Telford? Yeah, definitely. I think we said after the game, if this was uh, last season, I think it's in everybody's mind we would have lost that game. Um, we know on Tuesday that we, we weren't quite up to the standards that we've set, um, first half especially. Uh, I think second half was more like us, and um, I think we deserve to win the game. But yeah, we, we weren't at our best, um, but we, we didn't lose a game. We're still eight unbeaten, and we're, we're up there fighting for it like we, like we expect to do. So um, I think Tuesday was a massive, a massive game where you could sit and pick little holes in it and make it out a hundred times worse than it really was. Um, but we're unbeaten and we, we push on. You have to give Telford credit the way they came and played the game at Field Mill as well. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously they'd done their homework and realised what our strengths were. Um, they sat a little bit deeper, which didn't allow us to get our front two in like we like we like to. Um, so yeah, you have to give teams credit that they do the homework, and that's going to happen a lot at, at home. Um, so we need to make sure that we have kind of uh, plan B in hand to to cope with that. And it's it, it's good, isn't it? Every so often to have a little bit of a, a kick up the backside to make sure you maintain standards. Definitely, hundred um, percent. And I've I said it last season, I'll say it again. What will dictate how successful this football club is, is how us as a group of players and the whole football club in general deals with the not so good times. Because um, this club's great at dealing with the great times and everyone's brilliant when we're winning. But there'll come a time where we lose a couple of games and that is going to be when we see people's true colours um, and that's everybody involved in the football club and that's going to be the most important time. Hey, you know that from last year, don't you? There were a lot of bad times last year and perhaps there were times when the reaction wasn't so great. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but obviously last season weren't, weren't great and people had a right to view their opinion and a lot of their opinions were right. Um, but as a football club that wants to get success and that wants to get promotion, when you do have times that aren't great, you have to stick together. Um, I mean, it felt like a, um, a loss on Tuesday, but even so, you can't... I hear people questioning things already and I'm thinking, what's going on kind of thing. At the end of the day, we've started the season well and we didn't play too bad on Tuesday, we should have won the game, um, and we're, we're still up there, um, so like I say, we move on. A chance to put it right on Saturday, another home game with Kidderminster this time. Yeah, definitely, um, obviously we want to get back to winning ways, um, it's going to be a, a really, really tough test Saturday, um, and again, you know, on Tuesday it'll be another test, so we've got some big games coming up, um, we need just to make, make sure that we pick up as many points as possible in these two games, um, and come here next, sitting here next Thursday, with as many points in the bag and, and still in that, that zone. Kidderminster to come into this on the back of a heavy defeat at Fleetwood. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be smart enough to that, won't they? They will do, um, and I think that that's not good for us, to be honest with you, because from all reports, uh, uh, they were the better team um, until they, they got a man sent off, they were the better team. Um, so last season they were a strong outfit and they'll, they'll be the same this season. Um, we need to make sure we're on our metal. Um, we need to make sure that, make sure that we're firing all cylinders and we do what we're good at. The message to the fans is to stick with you definitely because the, the crowds are, quite, uh, are increasing, slowly increasing again, aren't they? And the atmosphere has been, on the whole, good there. It's been absolutely excellent um, and I had that conversation with somebody yesterday that we talk about if it was last season that team would have lost. Um, but at the same time, if that was last season, we would have had probably 60 minutes of booze. Um, whereas come the final we saw that the crowd are behind us and that's brilliant. Um, and like I say, that, that's going to be massive for us this season because you're going to get a lot of teams coming to Field Mill that are going to want to spoil our party. Um, and that's where the crowd come into it to, to push us on and make sure that um, the opposition don't see that maybe we're not getting the run of the green and um, they stick by us. On to things, Adam Murray, I understand you do a bit of coaching as well at the moment. What, what, what is the situation? How did that all come about? Um, I started it just over a year ago now with uh, my best mate Carl Fawley um, and it's literally a, a coaching school we've set up and we're working with a few, a few schools and we've got a number of kids in, in Mansfield and now in Burton. Um, so it's just something that we set up for a, experience for ourselves really and um, just to give something back to the kids. Um, and we're also doing Burton Albion under 14 so it's, it's something I want to go into when I finish so uh, it's just it's an experience. Yeah I was just going to say you're sort of probably coming now into the final third of your career are you now beginning to think about your uh, what you're going to do post football and playing? Well, definitely, I've been thinking about it for a while, to be honest with you, and coaching's been something that I've always loved. Um, so it's, it's an area that I want to go into as soon as I finish playing. Don't get me wrong, I've still got a few years left in me yet. I'm not ready to hang them up yet, even though I've got a few grey hairs coming through. Um, 
but yeah, uh, it's something I love and it's something that uh, I'll make sure my, my career kind of goes that way. Probably the level of performance has dipped slightly with Barrow and with the game on Tuesday night, but the points are still coming and that's important, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're if very analytical of it, if somebody had said to me, you know, four points out of the, out of the Barrow game and the, and the Telford game, I'd, I'd have taken that. You know, get a point away at Barrow would have been a, an excellent point and then get me three points at Telford. So, I mean, we, we've, we've done it the wrong way around, um, but we're still averaging, you know, those, those four points from two games. You know, Saturday's going to be a really tough game. Um, you know, Kitty didn't have a good result the other night, but uh, the reports I've had were, you know, they were excellent for the first 20, 25 minutes. And probably the better side before before the sendings off. So um, yeah, you know, we, it, there's a long way to go. You know, I, I, you know, people come up and say to me we could have gone top of the league, and um, but you know, I, my mindset's not changed from from you know the start of the the run we went on. We just said you know, no one wins anything in September. You know, it's uh, we're averaging points pretty pretty well. Um, you know, we, we we're getting that sort of consistency, but we still get a lot better at certain things. Mindsets come in, um, and more importantly, the, the, the mindset of the whole club. You know, I've just done an interview outside, and just said it's really important that the, you know the teams that, that get promoted um, and teams that win championships. Te you know, teams I've I've had in the past and, and the clubs I've been in, in the past that have won championships. Um, it's the togetherness through the bad times um, that, that sets you apart from the other clubs and. You know what I'd like to do is, is, is make sure that the clubs has won, um, you know, and, and, and that our consistency and our mindset is, is is spot on, even when we're going through the purple patch. You know, if we do that, um, you know, we, we keep learning and we, we keep putting the, the building blocks down. Then um, we've got as good a chance as anybody to build it at the end of the season. So what about Kidderminster on Saturday? You said they, they started off well at Fleetwood. Are you expecting then a, a bright start from them on Saturday? I'm expecting a tough game. You know, they say that there's, there's not an easy game. Um, they're up there. You know, it looked a bad result on on, on Tuesday night, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know for Steve that that'll just be a blip. You know, he's, uh, his teams are usually up there, competing at the top end of the table. And it's going to be a tough game, but you know, I've always said, um, like I said, I'm not going to change again. Like, it, it's about us. I want to see an improvement in some areas. Uh, you know, but um, there's no panic. No panic button being pressed, no, um, you know, if we keep averaging in and around that sort of two points a game, you know, I, I'll be happy with that, you know, we say we're going we're gonna to play badly some games and win, we're going to play well and lose, um, and there's gonna, we're going to come out from games thinking how we didn't win them, but, you know, throughout the season, it, it'll even itself out, and it hopefully, you know, as long as our mindsets, you know, as a, as a football club, more than anything is, 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 is level-headed, then, um, you know, I, I think that's a positive point. You mentioned on Tuesday night Tom Naylor and that a couple of Championship sides had, had thrown the hat in the ring. Uh, has anything developed from those two uh, approaches? No, nothing yet. Um, hopefully within the next sort of 24 hours, um, in regards to probably over the weekend or, or, or next week. Um, I've got to sit down and speak with, with his representative uh, as well as um, speak with the chairman, just regarding it. But there's nothing um, to report as, 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 a, as a, this point in time. Yeah, Fulham ended their, their interest, but that's not a knockback against the lad, is it? No, it isn't. It, it's a, that's a Premiership club. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, clubs that have shown interest, and in, you know, with, with the sort of start we've had, uh, from what I gather, the, the, there was a lot of scouts in the stand on, on, on Tuesday nights. Um, you know, it comes it comes with the territory when you know when, when you when you're doing well at this level of football. Um, you, there's going to be. Uh, there's going to be scouts coming to watch you, and there's going to be people interested in your players. But like I say, you, the lads have just got to keep working hard and get their heads down. And, and, and I think more than anything, just remember of what we are and, and where we are, and what what made us uh, a side that has, that has gone on a, a run of one defeat in ten. Um, and we've got to stick to uh, and, and get back to the basics in in, in what we're good at. Um, if we do that, we'll carry on the run. If not, it'll, it'll come to an end. And what about the, the treatment table at the moment? Any new people on there or, or what have you? Uh, no, not, not at the minute. Uh, good thing is John Thompson's back. Uh, Mark Stevenson uh, is, um, is, is having an x-ray today, just a second x-ray. Um, so he'll, uh, he'll hopefully uh, we'll know something a little bit more in depth with, with him. Um, but yeah, there, there's no, no fresh injuries from, from, from Tuesday night. Are you thinking of freshening it up a little bit? I don't know. Um, 
we'll have a look today, we'll have a look tomorrow, see how the lads are. I'm going to have a little chat with them now. Um, need them to be honest with me. You know, if they are heavy legged, we, you know, we've got people in, in, in the stand as well as on the bench that, uh, that can come in and do a good job. Um, but I think the lads have to understand that, you know, if, if lads do give the, the all clear, um, you know, that they are 100% fit, 100% sort of fresh, that uh, they'll be judged on, on performances. So, um, you know, it's, it's only scenarios. Look, look at over the next 40 hours. Um, do I want to make any, any rest decisions? No. If everyone tells me they're okay, then, you know, the, the, the team all of a sudden, or individuals don't become bad players overnight. So there's not going to be a rush to sign five players. There's not going to be a rush to drop five players, you know, but players have got to be honest with me, you know, because we're all judged, you know, the players, myself, we're all judged on performances. So, um, I say, be over the next 40 hours that we, you know, we'll probably hopefully get some, some honest answers off the lads and um, I'll make that decision on late Friday night. Okay. Did uh, John Thompson come down on Tuesday to watch the game? He did, yeah, he did. It was lovely to see him in the dressing room. Uh, nice to see him back. Um, you know, the scars have healed really well. Um, you know, he's, he's got a bit of a smile on his face. I think he's uh, hopefully chomping at the bit. Speak to him outside, you know, before, before coming in. Um, you know, he, he looks really excited about coming back into the fold. So uh, it's like signing a new player, if I'm, if I'm totally honest. And you know, the, the sooner we can we can get him fit without being stupid with him, um, the, the better for the better for Mansfield Town Football Club. What did he have to say about it? You know, his, his time of getting back into the side. He's obviously not going to just spring straight back in with what's happened. Has he no, got the ideas? No, no. I mean, I mean, we're not going to put a, any sort of stipulations on him. You know, the, the injuries that, ha that he's had have been horrendous. Um, I think we need to get him uh, match fit first. Um, you know, he'll do a lot of uh, you know heart and lung stuff, leg stuff. Um, but if I'm honest, he's a quite a naturally fit lad anyway. Uh, we'll get him into a game situation when he's when he feels he's ready psychologically. Um, but the sooner the better, and, you know, because you, you, you know we want good players. We want good players, that, you know, in, in the side, and, and John comes into that category. Is it is it good timing with regarding? To John to have him sort of come put you know working his way back, given the fact that you know, come early November, which is obviously not going to be able to play till you know start of January at the soonest. So it's like kind of yeah, it's just, one in one. It's one great one. timing, you know. Yeah. I mean, if, not just that, you know, you, you've got Ben Futcher on on four bookings, I think, at the minute. So, um, but saying that, we've got uh, Martin Riley. That you know, he seems to be the forgotten man at the minute. Yeah, um, yeah. he's an excellent player. We've got Reece Day. You know he's back in training. Um, you know we've got some good centre halves at the club. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and, uh, yeah. You forget, and you forget about Tom Naylor, yeah. don't you? I mean, yeah. you know, I know we keep talking about him, but um, do I want Tom Naylor back in the first team? Absolutely. You know, he's. Uh, you know, when, when he's in there, do you want him to keep his place? Yeah, but there's going to be that much competition for places, which, which is which is nice. Um, you know, it, 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 it's a manager's dream sometimes. You know, not not just because of good players, man. I think it's because all of them. Uh, you know, there's no. I don't think there's anybody sat around that's actually thinking to themselves. Well, you know, I've had a couple of weeks off and it's been a nice rest. I think everyone wants to be in that in that first eleven at, at the minute, and because uh, I think they can see what what we're trying to trying to build and trying to achieve.